All right, the buzz. Let's take a looky look. Let's see. Let's get a collective message. What we need to know. What is the collective message? What do they need to know, Holy Spirit? What is the collective message? Oh, goodness. The possibility. The possibilities are endless. Raise your standards. Um, action. Some action is getting ready to take place. I see the color blue. So some of y'all may be getting ready to receive some communication. This horse is in a hurry. They're running. Um, intuition. Somebody's intuition. I hear confirming. Someone has had something confirmed from the spirit realm to the physical realm. So they're in a hurry to get something done. Passion. Heck yeah. They're passionate about it, honey. You know what? Do all these cars have horses? Yeah. Somebody here, there is something they're following. It's, it's like, you know, when your spirit has been telling you something and you like, you know what? Uh -uh, I ain't about to play with this. I know. I know what I'm sensing. I know what I'm seeing. I know what I'm hearing. I might not be able to put it all together, but I know what I know. You understand? Somebody here has an understanding on something. They can hear now, they can sense now, they can feel now, they they know when they're right and they don't doubt it. Um, partnership. So this is a person that could be like, nah, this partner doing something, or this is a person that wants you to teamwork with them. Teamwork makes a dream work. Uh, this is a person who also, yeah, somebody who wants you to build a partnership or want to build slash collaborate with something with you somebody could be seeing you as a hot commodity or a very valuable team player somebody here may uh, want to invest in you hmm let's let's crack this open what's this possibility holy spirit what's the possibility what's the possibility i hear that song the heat is on the heat is on the four cups came out and the queen of cups so this is somebody here who's saying, okay, so somebody here is distracting someone. So a queen of cups is being distracted for a person to be able, yeah, to focus on their feelings or emotions. So somebody here is e somebody here is emotional right now because they feel like you're distracted with something else should not focus on them. So this is, <coughs> hold on. <coughs> oh, goodness. Hold on a minute. <coughs> what the heck was that? <coughs> I feel like something flew in my throat. Hold on. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. So this is somebody here who um they know your focus isn't on them anymore or they're feeling that. Somebody here feels like you have shifted, shifted, your, shifted your focus, your love, your attention, your caring. Um, if somebody here has like a nurse or someone taking care of them, this person feels like you don't take care of them anymore. You don't put the um, intentions in them. Like your intentions are not the same. Your energy is not the same. Somebody here is not getting the same feeling from you. Y'all, hold on, child, I'm hot as hell. What the hell? Hold on, child. I'm getting hot back here. I'm sweating. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> this person could be sending you a lot of energy. Trying to get you to focus on them, to pay them some attention, or to feel them emotionally. Now, I see the full moon. I think the full moon is coming up, so pay attention. You could be feeling a lot of emotions. You could be feeling overwhelmed over the next few days, next few hours, because this person is sending you energy, energy, energy. They're sending their vibe to you because they feel like you're missing you. Um, is that song Case? I see C-A-S-E. C, -E. C they're flashing. C-A, ooh, God. Shit, hold on, y'all. I got the power, so I'm about to burn it. What the hell? <coughs> Damn. Hold on a minute, y'all. I'm hot. Let me take these glasses off. I'm sweating. What the hell? <coughs> Excuse me. They flashing case, case, case. But I heard that song, I'm missing you. Whoo, child. Now, this somebody either want to plead their case, y'all. Give me a second. Let me fan. Cause I don't have no hot flashes. God darn, my whole body got hot. My thighs even sweating. All right, let's get back to it. Ooh, damn. Okay, so this is somebody here who may want to pe plead their case, speak their case, or they are dealing with something with the case. C A S E, case line. Line. It's three lines up under it. So this person is saying, you know, focus on me. Um. 
Somebody saying, don't be silly. Now, somebody here is feeling a little devilish. I see the devil's horn or something like that. Now, this could be some of you all, you could be under some sort of, you know, hex or spell or something like that. Let's take a, let's take a look at that really quickly. What's, what's this moon got going on? But the heat is on. Must be hot as hell what y'all got going on. on oh, my God. What this moon got going on over here? The star card. See, what you don't see is the possibilities. And now for some of you all here, it's like a person, oh, you've gotten over a person. You you've gotten over them, you're getting over them. Yep. The um the universe card, the moon card. So this is now somebody playing your energy real bad. That's what I'm feeling in. This person is playing your energy to play on your emotions. Something must not either have the strong effect that it once did. Or it, you, you're not, you're not, I don't know, you're, you're not, you're not work, picking up on it, working with it, or, or something like that. The Queen of Swords, yeah, somebody typically plays on your emotions a lot to get you to do something. So it's like emotional manipulation has been V E T O Veto. That's over. Oh, damn, I felt dumb. Anyway, listen. The world card, emotional manipulation is over. Their cup running over. Somebody ran out with something. Look here. And this is somebody here who could have been sending you like a lot of energy. They burnt the wires. They got they they're burnt out. They're burnt out because of what they've been doing. So what they, this 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 is this must be somebody who works on some of you all relentlessly when you have full moons, new moons, and things like that. It's this this King of Wands does this. So this is a man or a woman. Some of you all you could have been sexually active with them. This person tries to pull your energy sexually and tries to pull your emotions. It is also a person who's trying to make you feel what they feel without actually having to speak to you verbally. This could be someone who's crying. They definitely could be in regrets. Or this is a person who just hadn't showed you uh, his or her true emotions. So pick what side is on, um, what you're working with. What's the action here, Holy Spirit? What's the action? What's the action here? You have a king of wands that does a lot of emotional spells on you. Um, A lot of spells. A lot of emotional spells. Love spells. Sex spells. Yeah. But they've been disappointed because the spells aren't working. You're not acting the same and you're distracted. They could also could have been doing something to keep you distracted from something else. But if instead of it being, instead of you being distracted on what they wanted you to, it put a block on this person. It's distracting. It's like you see this person as, as, a, as a distraction now and your focus is elsewhere. And they're like, wait a minute, hold on. I didn't say I don't want you to talk to me at all. I didn't say I don't want you to focus on me on all at all. Somebody here did something. Somebody here is a spell caster though. But this is this is this is a male. This is a male. This is a male spell caster. All right. What's the what's the action cards now? This is not a spell. If, if your person not a spell caster, they have incorporated. They have incorporated a spell caster in their life to do stuff to you to try to. This is for emotional control. Now, why does person want to control your emotions? Hell, let's see. Why you want to? Why you want to control the collective emotion? Why? <clears throat> But they're saying that emotions make you cry sometimes. Emotions make you sad sometimes. But most of all, emotions make you fall in love. Somebody may, here want to make some of you all cry. Others of you all, this person wants to make you sad. Others of you all, this person wants to make you fall in love with them. So the spell caster is doing, the, doing these spells for those three reasons, individually for some of you all or collectively. Make you sad, make you cry, make you fall in love with them. All right, give me one card <clears throat> to confirm, confirm this spell caster. Hell yeah! This caster! Oh my God! God, look at here overseas in America. We got the god darn seven of swords and the mother freaking strength card. This bastard has been trying to be sneaky to control your mind the way you think or to dictate which way you go. Look at this person trying to suffocate you, <sighs> girls and boys. Lord have mercy, honey. Look at here. I told you, them cups again. It's your emotions, your emotions, and your intuition. Somebody here lost control. Because I see an airplane land, like, crashing. What's Mayday? 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 Whatever this person was doing, it's, it's, it, they crashed themselves. 
All right, what's the action? That's what this is. This person does a lot to control your emotions. And this is somebody who steals your energy also. So this could be an energy vampire or energy leech. Um, I heard incubus. Incubus, this is a man. Incubus is a male sex. So if you're, when you sleep, those of you all that are having sex and having sex with this person, you resonate with this. When you sleep with this person, this is somebody here who's trying to mesmer mesmerize you, hypnotize you sexually. Because I ain't gonna lie, I did hear witch dick in my head earlier. This, this is a man with some good dick. Oh my God. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's the action cards? Oh, God. The nine of swords and the nine of pentacles. So that this person is trying to think of how to slow you down. How to slow you down and how to um, slowly approach you. What's the Knight of Pentacles? What is Knight of Pentacles doing? Damn. Look, look y'all. The Six of Swords inverted. This person, this is somebody who wants to stretch you out and not, and not make you. It's like stretch you out and cause you to not feel like. I don't know which way to go. I don't know what to do. Now, somebody here wants you to be like a damsel in distress so they can save you. They want you to see them as they're not in shining armor as well. But they're behind the scenes causing this havoc to try to make things happen in your life physically. I'm like, oh, you need this? I can help you. Oh, don't go anywhere. Somebody here wants you to see them as a, like, a main attribute in your life. Uh, I keep hearing knight in shiny ar armor. What's the nine of swords? What's the what's the nine of swords here? Oh my god! The four of pentacles and the prince of cups. The princess of cups. Dream lover. Somebody here is messing with you in your dream state as well. This is a skilled spell caster. Look at here, this bastard. The hermit card, the will of fortune, and the nine of cups. It's like in your dream, this person is telling you to love me, to trust me to want me, to need me. This person wants you to feel like you have problems and they're your fixer. Somebody you need to be careful because this person goes very deep into the practice of divination, big time. This could be someone here that's at a distance, at a distance than, than you. This could be someone that's online watching you. Others of you all, this is a person that's spell caster. They may not be um, close to you. Somebody may have, like, like in other words, a spell caster at a distance. Be careful because this person wants you to feel addicted to them, hooked on them, um, needy and clingy. They want you to be clingy on them. Some of you all, they could also want you to like whine, um, kind of, you know, indirectly beg. Because I hear somebody saying, well, I, I need this. Well, I want this. This person wants you to come ask them for stuff. Look at here. See this moon card again? This bastard is playing on your emotions. <clears throat> Big time. All right. What's the um the ace of pentacles? They want you to see somebody here. It could be hoping or sending bad energy for something to happen in your house, your condo, your trailer. And like you call them. It's like they're trying to create the problem for you to think of them as a solution. That's what this is. All right. Close this out. What, what's the passion here? This is a lot of sex energy, a lot of sex magic as well. <clears throat> or they're very adamant about it. Like, you want the sex? Huh? You want me? Come get me. They're telling you that this person is calling you in the spirit, like making you come towards them. But it's not working. It's been vetoed. The spellcaster has been vetoed from your life, but they don't believe that because this person feels like they have more power over your mind. They feel like they have power and control over your mind, over your thoughts, and over your emotions. They think they're slick. <clears throat> All right, what's the passion? My God, the six of swords and the chariot card. This person wants you to do something. It's something, it's a specific route, a specific direction, um, a specific place they want you to go or get you or get you to do. But see, they're trying to confuse you with the seven of cups. And this is a person, <clears throat> they have a lot of passion for you, sexual energy so this person is trying to drive you out of your mind sexually now for those of y'all that's having sex with somebody this is why you may be getting a lot of good sex and then they pull back from at like after they sleep with you or they call you um stop calling for a while because something's make, meant to make you kind of yearn after them mm -mm. Uh -uh. see the star card yeah the star card and the sun card this is a very 
confident slash cocky person, but this person also does not want you to see that they are indirectly love bombing you. Now, some of y'all, this person could have feelings for you and trying to get you back, but others of you all be careful. <clears throat> this is a person that is accustomed to love bombing and accustomed to controlling and dictating their relationships slash situationships with magic because they are either they are a spell caster or they have a spell caster that's online and if you are experiencing some sort of drought um within your life or like things going on in your home in your career your emotions this person is doing it because they want you to see them like you know you need them <clears throat> excuse me all right let's close this out with the um angel romance what do they need to know here what do they need to know close this out it is safe for you to love. See, this is somebody here that could have fallen for you or just simply wants you to fall for them. Um, stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring bring you romance. See, somebody here, somebody here definitely wants you to think about them a certain type of way because they find you attractive. And it's see, this 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 this, this is the deceit that's in your life. They're deceiving you. Somebody here needs to be needed or wants to be needed very passionate about you there's a lot of chemistry here so somebody here could be in you know underlyingly uh insecure and they need or want their companion to show them more than what they show the companion but in actuality they feel they may feel the same way they don't want to show it this person got underlying control issues also this is someone who could have flirted with you some of you all could have turned this person down and they're doing some sort of um hex hex on you there's a pisces here that just fell out oh, it's confirmed this. you got a pet spell caster a spell caster is in love with you a spell caster is very much determined to have you and to be able to capitalize and monopolize off your emotions <clears throat> pisces virgo gemini cancer and cancer peace and blessings great day i hope this helps namaste